we're going to learn a little bit about arboretums, what they are and how to plant one because it happens to be a great Eagle Scout project that was produced by Eagle Scout Jonathan Kindmark. Right now I'm with his dad, Bob Kindmark, who's the assistant scoutmaster for Troop 929, Jonathan's Troop. Yes. And tell us where we are. Welcome. We're at Jackson Elementary School in Jackson Township today, mm -hmm. and Troop 929 is located in Chesterton, okay. which is where most of the Jackson students come from. All right, and this was an Eagle Scout, this arboretum that we're in the middle of was an Eagle Scout project for your son, Jonathan. It was, we began two and a half years ago, and this is the culmination of over 460 hours yeah, of work. Yeah, it's great. And tell us very briefly the whole mission of Boy Scouts and the Eagle Scout projects and what are the goals of that? Scouting is designed to build character, leadership, service, and the Eagle Project is the culmination of a Scout's Eagle career. Mm -hmm. And what we try to do is to have them independently show their ability to visualize a project and then carry it through to completion, leading other Scouts to do so. All right. So I'm thinking that I see Jonathan over there at the very beginning of the Arboretum. I'm thinking I'm going to go catch up with him and learn a little bit about how he put this amazing project together. Because as I recall, it was uh, selected as the outstanding Eagle Scout project for the district, right? It was. What an honor. Yeah, that's great. All right. Well, I'm going to go hook up with uh, Jonathan. Thanks. Enjoy right. your time. All right. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. Well, hi there, Jonathan. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. Looks like you're working, raking around the trees. Right? I am. Tell us a little bit about what is an arboretum? Well, an arboretum is the study of living trees mm -hmm. that are for study and observation. Okay, and you've planted one here at Jackson School. I have. How many trees? 19. 19 trees are here. How did you get the idea? Well, when I was on a canoe trip on the Manistee River in Michigan, I found thousands of trees on the ground for logging for a commercial business. Oh, yeah. So I came back here and that's when a tornado struck Indiana, in Chester, Indiana, Ooh, okay. and it took off the roof of my middle school and destroyed mm. another thousand of trees. Uh, and I thought what a good idea just to have my eagle project to give back to nature and plant trees. And what I really like about this project is that, as you said, gives back to the school, gives back to the community, and this is a great place for people to explore because they can learn about the trees that you've planted, right? Yes, it is. And one of the things that I love are these little tree identification um, plaques that you've got near each tree. So why don't you show us this? We're at the first tree right here, right? Right. So when a kid comes up and wants to learn about this tree, and for identification, he just look, looks at the tree, says, Live for our tree ID, Jackson Arboretum. This yep. is number one. So he lifts it up on these hinges. Wow. And here's the plaque. This is a sugar maple. And so there's pictures that help you learn about the twigs, the leaf, the bark, kind of the different seasons. This is what it looks like in the fall and, and winter. Right, right, yeah. And a little bit of description. Now, you, I know when you do an Eagle Scout project that one of the requirements is you got to have help, right? So right. you had your fellow Scouts with you, right? right? And also some adults helped you with some of this yes, too. Yes, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. wonderful. Great, okay. Well, how about if we walk to see some of these other trees because there's, there's a lot to look at here. There is. Okay, well, let's walk this way. All right. This is a nice tree. Is this your favorite? This is. This is the Northern Red Oak. Northern Red Oak. Okay. Why is it your favorite? Um, it provides food for the animals of deer and wild turkey. The acorns provide its food. All right. Excellent. How did you go about selecting the 19 different species? Um, the Chesterton Feed and Garden Center, Mr. Ross of it, helped me decide and determine which trees to plant. Also, Purdue University Great. helped me. Wow, great. Okay, so you got information from other resources, yes. which brings up an interesting question, because I imagine you just didn't come to the school and s just start planting trees. No. You probably had to get permission from several different levels. What was required? Um, first, I get permission from Dr. Linda Rugg, who is here at the principal of Jackson Elementary School. Uh -huh. and then I had to go and get permission from the Doolin School Corporation, okay. who had to give me permission to do the project. You also had to raise money, and how did you do that? Well, first I got an all-American Scholar Grant from the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, then I got great. funds from that were donated by students and faculty from Jackson Elementary School. Wonderful. And members from my family and troop also 
donated their time and effort and money in order to help me with this project. To help you put this project together. Okay, how about if we look at a couple of more trees? There's an interesting hawthorn, and I want to take a real quick look because you've got evergreens here too. I so do. We'll go look at those too. All right. All right. This is a nice little tree. Jonathan, what are we looking at? We're looking at the native hawthorn, oh, also known nice. as the Mayflower. Okay. That's what they actually named the Mayflower after. The ship, the boat. Correct. Okay. Correct. And one of the things that's got to be interesting about visiting an arboretum in different seasons is you see different things. And we've got some interesting fruits on this hawthorn. What's going on? Um, this is a protective covering over the fruits so that the birds and animals don't get it. Ah, and okay. so when the actual shell falls off, you're left with this, the berry. Okay. And the berry will stay there all year round. Excellent. Okay, really good. Let's go take a look at an evergreen, okay? All right. All right. Prickly needles on this one, Jonathan. This must be a spruce, right? Colorado blue spruce. Colorado blue spruce. Beautiful, it's gonna be a beautiful little tree. What's involved with the ongoing maintenance here? Pruning the branches, making yep. sure that the animals don't get to them, putting bladders on them, which help with the ongoing process of watering them, mm -hmm. and making sure that they're, everything's okay with them, that they don't have a disease, that make sure that they're all healthy. Yep, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a long-term labor of love it for is. you, isn't it? Which is great. One of the projects that you also combined with planting the Arboretum was an instructional book, and I think, I think you've got it one is. sitting right here. Tell us about this, because this is amazing. Well, this is the Jackson Arboretum Guidebook. Uh -huh. This book was designed for the teachers, and okay. the community of Doolin School Corporations. Each page has a tree wow. and it talks about like for example this is the sugar maple uh -huh. and each tree is I talk about is dedicated to somebody like my grandpa oh, here. Oh nice, very nice. Yep. It's part of the United States Marine Corps yep. and nice. each page talks about the description of it, what it's about, and it's for the teachers at Jackson Elementary School okay. to help them understand, like, to help the students understand what's yep. going on with the trees and then at the end after they go through all the 19 trees, uh -huh. there's a little quiz. Oh, for them. fun! Yeah. So they can actually try the quiz. And there's right. also activities in there that they can do, whether it's taking photos or right. drawing pictures of the trees. This is a, an amazing project that you put together. And so I'm really impressed. And I'm so glad that there are now 19 more trees that are happily growing thanks to your care. I know you hauled a lot of water to keep these trees yeah, growing, didn't 20, you? 20,000 gallons. 20,000 gallons. All right, Jonathan, thanks so much and congratulations on a great project. Thank you. Each April, Arbor Day celebrates trees. It's a great time to add trees to your home landscaping. Up next, Evie gets some Arbor Day tree planting tips. Like outdoor elements? Then like us on Facebook. It's your chance to keep up on what's airing on this week's Outdoor Elements. See behind the scenes pictures and videos. Be sure to check out the galleries. We also want to hear from you. Let us know what you think about the show and some of the great outdoor elements that you are experiencing. So search Outdoor Elements on Facebook or connect via WNIT.org backslash Outdoor Elements. And be sure to click like 